Hey there, people. This is me, Crackmeister, or Zatsupachi, depending on where you know me. So, this is dev commentary over my Choco Contest level Fantastical Incursion. Um, there's a lot of discuss here um, and such, you know. So, um, first off, this where, where does the cream come from? Where does this character come from? Well, she's an, she's an original character from my story. Plain and simple, really. Um, she has a life bar and everything. Ooh! And, uh, yeah. And she's on her to catch some soldiers. She has double jump. And she has this move, which is uh, fairly misunderstood. I'll go explain la more later. There's this thing here, you can hit. Show player hitbox. I don't know if people caught on to that. And uh, this basically just tells you, uh, you can double jump. And um, some people were like, this level, this, this level is, is, is a thing where you dodge bullets. Yes, definitely. And a lot of people misunderstood this room and just ran through it and tanked everything because I gave 12 HP, which is quite frankly one of my biggest mistakes. Having the, having the bullets not do variant damage was one of my mistakes apparently, and that the fact that you get healed on every checkpoint, a certain amount anyway. Um, I mean, okay, um, the thing is like, if I'm a little bit passive aggressive here, yes, I, I kinda am at the same time, like, like, cause like, um, there are, there are just times that I, I don't know what I'm what I'm supposed to do correctly. Like, oh, okay, I'm supposed to make this attack pattern much more reasonable to dodge with gravity. The thing is, like, the idea you can and you you can just walk through this if you can, yeah, like, because the hitbox is actually super friendly, even for the bullets and even for the player on both sides. You're not gonna know that, but like, you know. Just, I think just, I thought, from, from what I thought, I, I just knowing where the hitbox, where your general hitbox is, you know, you, you'd be able to use that knowledge to like, uh, just eyeball a place to go through. And um, there's this text box here that apparently people nowadays refuse to read text box because reading text is boring. Which, I, I can see, I can see that, but like, this is an important lesson. And I, uh, I could just put down uh, like the input for the, for the dodge move, like, on the screen here. But like, people are not gonna see a lot of the applications, especially for things like, you know, the deal damage. How am I gonna introduce something? How am I gonna introduce mechanics that are inherently dangerous to the player without like you know having them you know just face this kind of obstacle that was one of the challenges that i had to face with this it was like and, and, I, and, I, and I was like okay just, just make a simple pattern this is a relatively simple pattern at least in my eyes some people don't see see this is a simple pattern you know um and like i like, the, the backward top is kind of misunderstood because apparently it robs you of all, like, movement. Well, that was just the thing. In trade of being invincible, I have to give you, like, something. And the fact that the backward top isn't all that bad as a mechanic, it's a hop. The backward top is, uh, can be utilized. It, 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 it don't, it, like, I, I honestly dislike the criticism that it, it just it just robs you of all control. You have a lot of control. This is a freaking Mario game. Like it, I mean, there's there's a certain loss of control, but like not to the not to the extent of just like you you're not um you you're uh, you're like an uncontrollable mess. You can still steer yourself if you hold direction. You know? That, 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 that's my that's my thing here. Like, you can do this. This is this is how it's meant to be. Sometimes sometimes you can just jump through. You can just jump through. There, there, there's plenty of space. And 
the reason for this room really is just like so, so um have you taken all of that in can you you can test it here this is a relatively safe environment yes you can die here but like what, what other choice did i have and i didn't want to like i didn't want to like make like super like um, basic challenges because I didn't, I didn't want this level to go on for any much more longer than this. I'm already talking for like five minutes, just on the speed here. The, apparently, you know, this was very confusing for a lot of people. Oh well. The rest of the level, um, you know, by the way, you know, um, movement mechanics, by the way. I don't know, the thing is like, that's actually just, you know, some of this is just Linkisms, you know, like, Link is a bit weird to control in SMBX in general anyway, so I, I don't know what the thing about control is anyway, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot, like, I have a lot of things in my head right now, and, like, considering that, like, you know, like, I kinda wish this kind of scored better. That's just, just that, that's just my my thing. I did. Um, 39th place isn't bad. It's just you know, I kind of wish to be like upper bound. Apparently, um, it shows more the scores and like how this level actually fared rather than the average. But then you know, whatever. people get can get intimidated by just you know the, the amount of projectiles here but I assure you there is like there are mechanics that you can use to dodge these like I have employed the mechanics necessary to dodge bullets sometimes I have not encountered that much maybe I think it was due to one of the weapons I think it was good. yeah I think it's like I I'm mashing the button right now it's working it's intended like yeah sure shot, some of the shots disappear but that's because like they're in, they're in a timer and they, they would disappear and they're they're set in a random spread. So, you know, that's... That's just RNG, I guess.
Though, okay, I guess like the slow down hampers the progress. Like, like the, that hampers the flow of the level. Because, like, yeah, this this level um, has a lot of complex math in it. Especially in how it spews the bullets. And the amount there are. Got to like uh, do my thing or uh, shit. Anyway, that's fine. Now, okay, I, I have to admit, yeah, this uh, this mini boss kinda is uh, garbage. boss was like one of the last things I added, mainly because I, I wanted something like a, a bit of a um, a bit of a difference in pace, I guess. And yet, here's the final room, which... Quite frankly, I'm proud of this final room. Because, um, it's supposed to be a test of everything you've learned so far. I mean, I hope people learn something, that's just the thing. Um, sometimes people don't catch on to things. This, is, this, is, this, uh, this last part is supposed to be your final exam, because it's all of the mechanics introduced so far. And you can beat this level without taking a single bit of damage. It takes um it takes effort. It takes effort. it takes a certain mastery of the tool set for sure, but like it's possible to perfect this level. I think this is the blind jump people were talking about. And uh, yeah, I should have put this arrow like slightly higher. Oh well. And here's just bullet dodging. Now, um, with regards to like the mechanics I took from, say, Rabbi Rippy and the whole Luna Knights, it's actually like the thing is with the whole Luna Knights is that um, it's not just the time stop. It's not in Rabbi Rippy. It's not just the healing. Both games do actually provide tools to dodge the onslaught. Like, I'm 
having a small hitbox or having certain moves um, that can render you invincible. Uh, and th that's the approach I went with before we came here, is that there are tools that you can that you can use to dodge everything. And it's it's uh, but but unfortunately I that's just the thing. I have to rely on the player to know how to use their tools. Which I guess is fine if I introduce this like in like multiple stages and all. But yeah, I, I suppose I suppose uh, I didn't do it well here. People can just actually just kill the boss here with impact falcon and um, shotgunning reward here, but like, eh. But yeah, um, it, it was more than you know the mechanics they had. Like, oh, because um, you have the, it's really hard to design um a bullet hell um a bullet hell experience in a platformer. Yes, it is hard, and um, yes, you are fighting against gravity, which is something, well, it's hard to fight against gravity because it's always been affecting you. That's the challenge. That's just the challenge. And I don't think it's worth discussing because that is a known challenge. It is worth a dr- it, 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 it is a known- it, it is a known thing. But it, it's also the, the challenge, you know, that- and I don't know if I fully achieved that. Uh, challenge to be honest with you just that um tried to, I tried to implement mechanics that um, would help and I and I, I, I wanted to implement mechanics that would help but not make the level trivial unfortunately I gave the player 12 HP that's way too much HP <laughs> Achieve a technical mastery and know how about this throughout the 
course of the game, but I'm trying to do it on a level. On a single level. Uh, so I see the problem here. But at the same time, the, 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 um... I like the fact that um, I, this is this is my this is exactly my proof of concept that you can make a um, a Toho level that's not insufferable in SMBX and like sh like the thing is like oh you should have designed the bullet patterns to be more to to be more um, uh, something 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 oh, okay um, my problem. With that is that the, the thing is the thing is bullet hells don't usually have that kind of like sort of design. And, uh, what I'm trying to say here, what I'm trying to say here is that the, um I want I wanted to I wanted to make it so that it makes you look at the pattern and dodge the pattern rather than having the pattern dodge from you with um uh, so long as you are in the correct position because um because like so that that's just what some people prefer is like uh, about because the, the bullet hell is not actively trying to hurt them rather the, the bullet hell is just um providing a direction rather than the player coming up with the, the, with the, with the safe path through kind of thing and i wanted to do that approach rather than just Oh, have like a spread attack, um, a bullet spread coming at the player, and it, but it's an even number spread, so it will never hit the player unless the player moves too fast. Uh, this direction, move the, like, the, is it, that's that the bullet pattern solves itself, kind of thing. I don't want, I didn't want to approach it that way, mainly because um, you know it, it kind of goes against the whole like dodging bullets. You're not dodging the bullets. You the bullets are dodging you. 